Jaeger kızı. There are no rules but one. Drink Jägermeister at minus 18 degrees Celsius. Obviously, there will be wars. Wars will always be there, you know. Uh, it's a part of being human, I believe, uh, for better or worse. Uh, but what do you think uh, could be done, like, to mitigate the most of it? Like, when you see these conflicts that are boiling up, do you think that that there is a way to prevent some of these so it doesn't come to a bombing like in a Belgrade and Moreno, uh, you know, those those kinds of events that we could maybe avoid that kind of thing? I think what you said that war is part of human nature. Um, I do think that there has to be robust diplomacy before bombs begin to fall. But look at something like Ukraine, right? Um, if you talk to Ukrainians, they're really, I mean, Zelensky said, you know, he, he is ready to talk. Well, not really, but um, they're not willing to give up, the, they want territorial integrity. So they're not willing to give up Crimea or anything, nor should they, by the way. Um, so I can't see how diplomacy right now can help um, in that situation. I mean, in many ways, I think what happened, the, the, the end of the war will be determined on the battlefield, sadly, because so many young people and old people and so many people are being killed. Um, I wish the war could end tomorrow, um, but I don't think it will. I think it will become a frozen conflict um, or there will have to be some kind of tough, tough negotiation that no one's going to be happy with. Um, so how to prevent wars we prevent wars by making sure that the previous war ended well we stay genuine uncensored and unscripted and we always will as we have to order our usual share us subscribe us and stay tuned until the next wednesday